go, okay guys, oh, you 10 people that liked me, come here, come stand next to me. Tell, tell Jesus that I'm okay. Tell Jesus to let me in. That's not how it works, church. We are all going to give an account one day for what we did with Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. One day we're going to give an account. See, we, we, we're, we're short-sighted people. We, we just see this. But one day we're going to stand before the Lord, church. Like it or not. And God's going to say, Tim, what did you do with my son, Jesus Christ? Did you accept him or did you deny him? I want to be the one that says I accepted him. Amen. You know, I wouldn't, I, wouldn't be, I wouldn't be doing the Lord any justice if I never got behind a pulpit and I never got to this point and asked all of you the same question that was asked to me that got me to turn over to the Lord. And that's a question that you need to ask yourself. And I'll, I'll be here for a little bit eating Foss Knots. There's none left for you guys after the church service. You guys can have the tomatoes that you guys gathered to throw at me. But if you die tonight, and this is just a question for you and the Lord, but if you don't know, please come talk to me. I'd love to pray with you. But if you die tonight, do you know without a shadow of a doubt that you'd wake up in heaven? If, you sit, if you're sitting there and go, well, I've, I've gone to church my entire life, of course I'm going to go. Church membership's not salvation. You can say, well, I'm a pretty good person. Being a good person is not salvation. Well, I tithe to the church. Hey, that's, that's, that's amazing. Thank you. But tithing is not salvation. Belonging to a denomination is not salvation. Having a relationship with Jesus Christ is. Amen. And now having a changed behavior in your heart is now living for him. And so if you're sitting here this morning and you go, you know what? I'm 45 years old, just like that weird guy talking. Or a couple years older. Or younger. If you're sitting here this morning and you go, you know, I just, I don't know. Why don't we pray and just make sure you do know? Amen. Amen. Church, I'm going to conclude with that. I think that's the most important thing I can leave you with because the Lord is so amazing. Heaven is so amazing. And I could never put any adjectives to it. Okay. And you've already made up your mind if you were going to throw tomatoes at me or not. But can we go to the Lord in prayer? Father, we just thank you for your word. I thank you, Father, for each person that's here. Father, we're all going through different things in, in, in our lives. And I, I just thank you, Father, for doing a mighty work. I thank you, Father, for getting us excited about the resurrection, getting us excited about having a new body so we can spend eternity with you. And yet, Father, if there's anybody here that doesn't know you as their personal Lord and Savior, I pray that they would not leave here, Father, without coming and talking to me, Lord, that we might pray together. For them to have a relationship with your son, Jesus Christ, and then live for you. Father, I thank you for this church. I thank you, Father, that we're not going to get caught up in numbers, but we're going to get caught up in being steadfast in your truth, immovable, no matter what this world wants to try to teach us, no matter what social media wants to say to us, Lord, I thank you that we need to stay steadfast in your truth, Father. Father, we love you and we thank you for all these things. And it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.